coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10's Madison Zaleski. Good evening and welcome back. Well, fall is officially upon us. It definitely feels different than it was last weekend. Last weekend we were in the 80s and now we are dipping down into the 60s. It got up to 63 today and taking a look for our forecast focus. It is going to be cool. We're going to be experiencing those below average highs in the 60s where we should be in the 70s around this time of the year and we're going to have a cool northwest breeze, which is going to be bringing in some of those cooler temperatures and we're going to have overnight lows in the upper 30s. Looking at our temperatures right now, we've already dipping down into the 40s. 48 in Terre Haute, 45 in Sullivan, 46 in Linton and in Bloomington, 49 in Washington and 48 over in Vincennes. And as we take a look in the next few hours, we're going to be dropping down in the upper 30s. So definitely a good night to maybe close those windows and cuddle up in a nice blanket. Right now, in it's going to be in Terre Haute around 6 a.m., 39 degrees, 39 in Sullivan, 36 in Linton, 37 in Washington and Vincennes, and 35 over in Lagodi. So it's going to be a chilly morning and tomorrow is going to feel quite the same as it did today, although we're going to be seeing some more cloudy conditions and taking a look at our storm team Tim storm tracker right now. We're not seeing a whole lot of activity, a little cloud coverage up into the north. But other than that, there's nothing too ex much exciting news happening right there. Take a look at our temperature trend over the next few days, though. Seasonal average is 72. And for the first part of the work week, we are going to be in the 60s. 62 tomorrow, 61 on Monday, and 64 on Tuesday. And then we're going to be getting into the 70s by the time we get into Wednesday and then the rest of the week. Now, we are going to be staying fairly dry Sunday through Tuesday. By the time we get into Wednesday, though, that could change. We be, could be seeing some more rain chances by the end of the work week. Take a look at our future cast right now. A lot of cloud coverage is moving its way into the Wabash Valley. It's going to feel quite similar as it was today, but we are going to be seeing some more clouds, maybe a few peaks of sunshine. You can see that wind coming in from the west, bringing some of those cooler temperatures. And then as we get into the day or uh, tomorrow night, we could be seeing a few pop up showers, although for most of the day it should be staying fairly dry. So it shouldn't be ruining any sort of day um, your day for Columbus Day weekend. And then on Columbus Day, we are going to be seeing those winds starting to shift a little bit. Sunny conditions, but again, temperatures are going to be in the 60s. For tonight, though, an overnight low of 39, partly cloudy with a chilly breeze. Tomorrow, a high of 62, partly sunny and another cool day. That wind coming in from the west, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then tomorrow night, an overnight low of 41, mostly cloudy and can't rule out a few pop up showers. But taking a look at our seven day forecast for the rest of the week, partly cloudy skies through Monday with highs in the lower 60s. By the time we get into Wednesday, we are going to be jumping back up into the 70s with the possibility of some rain Wednesday through Saturday.